What is going on Phantom Army? It's your boy Phantom Stilts and welcome back once again to another brand new tutorial video on the channel. Hope you guys are excited for this tutorial. It's a tutorial that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Uh, I finally understand every little nuance of what we're going to be doing in voice meter. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail today, we are setting up voice meter for streaming as well as recording for your YouTube videos. Audio mixers in general and even virtual audio mixers can be very, very confusing. So if any point you guys get stuck, uh, please feel free to rewind the video or anything like that if you guys do get confused or um, are not sure about sort of what's going on in the video. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're actually going to um, name all of the inputs and outputs uh, that we're going to use in voice meter. So if you go over here to microphone, you guys can see that this is actually clickable. So if you right click on your mouse and go to this little tog here, you're going to see that the microphone actually is uh, the text box is actually editable. So we're going to go ahead and name this microphone. So we're going to hit enter here. So we'll go ahead and just do it for uh, safety's sake. We'll go ahead and go microphone. And then we're going to name this obviously browser. The voice meter and all that stuff, uh, the virtual audio cables, we will get into all that. But right now we are just naming our hardware uh, inputs. So there are actually five different hardware inputs that you can use that are actual hardware on your computer, as well as there are three virtual audio cables such as VAIO, Voice Meter Aux, and VAIO3. Now all of this can get really confusing, but I promise you through the video, as well as I'm going to link the description of, or actually link in the description of this video, my 2020 microphone settings that I actually use uh, for my microphone and my audio for 2020, such as um, my uh, filters and things like that, I will link that video in the description as well. So you guys can set up this entire thing in Streamlabs, uh, which we will also do. We will take all of the input cables and the hardware inputs and all of that confusing audio stuff, and we're gonna input it into Streamlabs in this video as well, so you guys can set up your entire stream the way you want it. And this is stuff that I actually use. So if you guys want to copy my settings, this is how we're going to do it. But like I said, that microphone settings video for 2020 will be linked in the description. It is actually a separate video from this one. And this is just going to be inputting the voice meter settings into Streamlabs, setting up voice meter so we can input all of that stuff into Streamlabs so you guys can see exactly how it works. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So after we're done naming all of the stuff, so like I said, you can right click on this and you can name it desktop, you can name it comms, you can name it music, any of that stuff is completely editable. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go over what each of these inputs are. So the hardware inputs you guys see on the left over here on the mouse cursor, these are the physical audio inputs and these are the virtual audio inputs that are right here. So the uh, voice meter potato offers the most flexibility out of any voice meter you have. Now voice meter is a completely free service. Um, they do ask you to donate uh, if you want to buy other cables, but it is not necessary. So if you're going to get um, voice meter, I would recommend either voice meter banana or voice meter potato. But as I said, voice meter potato has the most flexibility for any virtual mixer that I have seen. So anyways, let's get into this. So what we're going to go over is the hardware outputs and the hardware inputs. So the microphone is obviously your microphone. Browser audio, we're going to set up for Opera GX, Mozilla Firefox, um, Microsoft Edge, and let's see, is there any other one that I'm missing? Google Chrome. Uh, Google Chrome would be the fourth one. So without any further ado, so let's get right into the hardware outs. So the uh, virtual cables are just cables that come, um, they're not necessarily, f not necessarily physical hardware cables, they're virtual cables because Voice Meter Potato is actually a virtual mixer. So these are all cables that are not hardwired into your system, they're going uh, exclusively through the software. The hardware outs are actually where your audio is going to come into. So I actually have the A1s and the A2, which is your hardware out. Um, the same way you have hardware inputs, you have five of those, you have five hardware outputs, which is the ones on the right over here where my cursor is. So in order to set these up, um, we're actually going to set up the hardware outs first so you guys know where all of the audio is going to go. So. Um, the first one we're going to go through is A1. Now, A1 is um, obviously one of the first, is actually the first audio uh, hardware output that you're going to put in. Uh, I like to set A1 to my headphones. So if you have a headset, um, just a pair of over-the-ear uh, headphones, earbuds like I have from Sennheiser, which is the IE60s, 
that is what I set A1 to. So you wanna make sure that your um, headset or earphones or headphones are actually plugged into your computer. And then we're gonna set that up through here. Now we go to A1, obviously you guys can see my headphones are plugged into my Xbox controller. That is the controller that I use when I game. So obviously that is the uh, pair of headphones or audio devices that I wanna listen to uh, through the game. Now you guys see there's a couple other, there's actually one more headphones, that's actually uh, my Turtle Beach headset that the dongle is actually in the computer, so that's why it recognizes that as an audio source as well. But we're gonna use the earphones because I've started using earbuds exclusively, so we'll go ahead and select that as our first audio output. Our second audio output is going to be A2, and A2 is going to go to our speakers. So most Windows computers use Realtek Digital Audio Output, Realtek Audio, so that is the WMD driver audio that I'm going to use for my second hardware output. We have our hardware output selected. That is where our audio is going to go when we send it through voice meter. Now, we're gonna to go to our hardware output to, or excuse me, our hardware input where all of the sound is going to go through voice meter and then to the output of virtual audio cables or physical audio uh, outputs that we have set. So the first one we're going to set up is obviously our microphone. So we see over here on the left, we have it labeled as microphone. And just like over here for our A1 and A2, we are going to have a uh, audio input that we're gonna put in as our microphone. Now, WDM, as you guys could see, I selected it for both hardware outputs. You want to have it set as the exact same audio driver. So WDM is the one we're gonna be using in this video. So WDM is going to be either, or excuse me, is gonna be the exclusive audio driver that we're going to use for either the input or outputs for everything we do here so they all have to match. That is very, very, very important. I cannot stress how important that is that they all match. Anyways, so when you plug in your microphone, whether it be a USB or an XLR, you're going to see the microphone pop up here as microphone HyperX Quadcast. That is the microphone that I use. So we are going to go ahead and select that as our hardware um, audio input for our first uh, input. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. You guys can see it is now picking up or was picking up before, but just so you guys can get it for sake of argument, uh, it is picking up my microphone and the voice meter over here on the left. This meter right here is showing that my hardware, or excuse me, that my microphone is picking up sound and it is going through voice meter correctly. Second thing we're going to set up is our browser audio. So like I said, you could be using Hyper, or, uh, HyperX Quadcast. <laughs> You're gonna be using um, Opera GX, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Mozilla Firefox, any of those browsers, you're going to be setting it up right here. So the first audio cable that we are going to put in is one of the virtual audio cables that actually comes with Voice Meter Potato as well as these three virtual audio cables here. So the first one we're gonna set up is uh, Voice Meter Output VB Audio Virtual Cable. That is the first audio cable, virtual audio cable that we're going to put into our hardware output and we'll pick up sound from our browser. So we'll go ahead and set up that as our first virtual audio cable and go ahead and click left click that and that up. So the second thing we're going, or actually the third thing we're going to do is set up our uh, virtual audio cables that are over here on the right hand side, such as VAIO, Voice Meter Aux, and VAIO 3. As you guys, we can see we have these uh, set to certain things uh, respectively, such as our desktop audio, our comms, most likely coming from Discord, and then our music player, which is going to be for me, Spotify, which shows up right here. So the first one we're going to set up is the desktop audio. So these three virtual audio cables, we want to be independent of each other. So the first one we're going to set up is the desktop audio. We're going to make the desktop audio VAIO, voice meter VAIO, as our default uh, audio device. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to go to our um, audio settings, which is down here on the right hand side. We're gonna right click on this little speaker, open sound settings, and we're gonna get into our sound settings right here. Now, as you guys can see, we have voice meter input VB audio, voice meter VAIO as our default desktop audio. So we're gonna go ahead and select that and then we're going to go down here. We have our input as the microphone HyperX Quadcast, which is all good. And then we're going to go into advanced, or excuse me, app volume and device preferences to set up our, um, would be our uh, music playing device. So I like to use Spotify. That is the, um, 
<clears throat> excuse me, the audio player or music player that I like to use. I have a Spotify premium account, so it lets me have um, basically audio and music without any commercials whatsoever. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the voice meter as you guys can see, let me mull this out of the way here. VAIO is our music player device, correct? So what we're going to do is we're gonna set up voice meter VAIO for Spotify Premium, VAIO3 input, and we're gonna select that right there. So that basically tells voice meter that we're gonna have all of our music audio that's going through Spotify is going to go through VAI or v -A -V -A -I -O 3 and it's gonna go out through our speakers. Now I'll show you how that's all gonna get set up with these little toggles, A1, A2, A3, B2, and all that kind of stuff, that's going to be very important for setting that up, but we will do that after we set up all the audio sources. So now that we have our Spotify going through VAIO3, we are all good there for the music. We're going to go into Discord, and I'm going to show you guys how that works. Now, in order to set up Discord, it's a little bit trickier than the music one. So to set up Discord, we actually have to go back into the sound settings. So we're gonna right click right here. We're gonna go into open sound settings and then we're going to go, we're actually going to go to uh, sound control panel. If it'll pull up here, here we go. And then we're going to go to playback devices. I believe that's what we want. Okay, yes, playback devices. So playback devices is what the voice meter is going to send through uh, those virtual audio cables and they're going to uh, go into the outputs which we have either our headphones or our speakers so what you're going to want to do is we're going to set two of these as default um, communication devices and the voice meter input as our default device for sound so you're going to set the voice meter aux input which is this guy right here which is our comms that's what we're gonna set for our communication device because we want Discord to be our common or our default communication device. So what we're gonna do for that one is we're going to set the aux VAIO, which is the aux VAIO, which is the comms here, we're going to set that as our default communication device. And then we're going to set our uh, default device as voice meter input, voice meter VAIO. That's both our desktop and our comms. So when we go into Discord, so we'll go ahead and hit OK here, because that is all set up. We will close this, and we will go into Discord. We will want to set our output device as default, because our default communication device is now that voice meter aux VAIO. So we'll go ahead and set that to default, and we are all done with Discord. So to get out of Discord, just go ahead and close this out. And then the last thing, guys, we are going to set up is the um, hardware outputs where you can hear everything. So as I said, uh, these actually do translate to something meaningful. All of these A1, A2, A3, and all that stuff. So the A1 and A2 I've actually uh, correlates to the hardware outputs. So our hardware outputs that we set up were our headphones as well as our speakers. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, in order for your stream to hear uh, your microphone, you're gonna wanna set this to B2. B2 actually directly correlates to your stream and the stuff that we set up. So go ahead and set your microphone to B2. And then your browser audio, this is going to come in A1, which is your headphones, and A2 is toggled, which is your speakers. So you'll be able to hear the browser audio, say you're playing a YouTube video on stream, you, your audience will be able to hear, the uh, browser audio through your computer speakers as well as you will be able to hear it through your headphones. Then we move on to uh, which is going to be our desktop audio. You wanna hear that in your headphones. So if you're playing say Apex Legends, for example, which is a game that I play on stream all of the time, uh, you're gonna to wanna to hear that through your headphones, which is A1, and then you're gonna to wanna to hear that through your speakers so your audience can hear it, which is A2. And then with comms you're going to want to set that to a1 uh that is going to be your discord and then last but not least to uh have your audience both hear your music as well as um you hearing your music you can toggle that for a1 which is your headphones as well as a2 which is your speakers for your computer now the reason for the comms the reason why i only have uh a1 selected in voice meter is because if you have A2 selected, we're going to be setting up something in Streamlabs, like I said, 
that is going to uh, provide an echo, which is not something that you want uh, when you're streaming or recording. Um, it just sounds really unprofessional. So that's the reason why we only have the comms and Discord audio going through our headphones. Anyways, now that we have Voice Meter all set up here, we are actually going to go into Streamlabs and I'm going to show you how to set up the audio devices in Streamlabs so your stream um, and so your stream and everything in there can be heard both through your headphones and in your stream. So let's go right into Streamlabs, guys. All right, guys, so now that we are in Streamlabs, I'm going to show you uh, basically uh, how we set up the uh, audio devices on our live scene and things like that. Now, once you have all of these audio sources set up, uh, it's going to be very easy for you to bring them back into every single scene, uh, depending on uh, whether you're taking a break from your stream or live scene, uh, when you're actually streaming and people can see you to your starting screen, everything in like that is going to be all set up and you're gonna be able to pull these audio sources at your leisure. So we'll go ahead and go to live scene because live scene has, um, the most audio sources that I want to be heard. All right, guys, so now that you guys can actually see my face in Streamlabs, we're gonna set up five audio sources. Two of them are gonna be input sources, and then three are going to be output sources. So as you guys saw in the voice meter tutorial, we were setting up all of our audio sources to be independent. So you can toggle them however you want. If you don't wanna hear your game sound at some point, if you don't wanna hear your desktop audio at some point, your music, your comms, your microphone, or your browser audio, you can turn all of that stuff within Streamlabs or on at your leisure. So the four we're gonna set up is obviously desktop audio, which is going to be um, obviously the, the audio coming from your computer, uh, the music, which is gonna be coming from Spotify, the comms, which is going to be coming from Discord, your HyperX quadcast or the microphone that you have is going to be your voice obviously coming through the microphone and then your browser audio there, which is my hop, or, uh, Opera GX audio. So the first one we're going to set up is the desktop audio. So you're gonna go into obviously uh, at a source, you're going to hit this little plus sign here. Now I already have uh, my audio input captures uh, in there. So they're gonna show up as you guys can see at a source, we have um, the HyperX Quadcast audio and the Opera GX audio. So those are already set up. So all you have to do is name them and we're gonna go in and put the actual audio sources in them through the properties. So those are the two I have set up for the audio inputs. And then if you go to uh, audio output capture, we're gonna see three there as well. So you're gonna see comms, music, and desktop audio. So the way we're gonna set these up through the properties is uh, the five virtual audio cables, uh, the five cables um, and audio inputs, hardware inputs that we put through in voice meter. So the desktop audio, if we go to voice meter, I'll show you guys how that works. So the desktop audio is going to be set up as our voice meter input VB audio voice meter VAIO. That is our desktop audio. That's the cable that we set up as our desktop audio. So you're going to go ahead from there and select that. That's going to be your VAIO input. For music, we set it up as the VAI03. So that is gonna go into properties. We're gonna pick VB audio voice meter VAI03. That's gonna be for our music. Our comms was set up, I believe, as the aux input. So we're gonna to go to VB audio voice meter aux VAIO. That's going to be our comms. Our HyperX quadcast is obviously going to be uh, our VB audio aux VAIO. And then last but not least, our Opera GX audio is going to be um, our virtual audio cable, which is the first one that we set up. So I will go ahead and minimize this just so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And I will pull up voice meter as well so we can have it all in correlation. So as I said before, we'll pull up voice meter here. So voice meter, our microphone is going through the VAIO, like I said. Our browser audio is set in Streamlabs to this virtual audio cable. Our desktop interdependent audio source is set up to the VAIO. Our comms for Discord is set up for the AUX VAIO. And then our music for Spotify finally is set up for the VAIO3. Anyways, so that is how you set up, guys, 
in Streamlabs as well as Voice Meter your audio inputs for stream. So, like I said, all of these are in their, in, are independent audio sources. You can toggle them in Voice Meter at your leisure. If you don't want to hear it through your headphones or the speakers or both, you can toggle all that stuff as you as you see fit. So, now that we have this all set up, I just want to go through the desktop audio and the um comms audio because the audio drivers for both uh, desktop audio and games can be a little bit loud coming through your desktop audio as well as the comms for Discord. Um, they don't have a great audio system uh, for dumbing down sound that can tend to be very loud or very soft. So the presets for my desktop audio that I like to use is about negative 15.6 decibels. And then for the music, I like to keep it around 38 decibels a negative 38 decibels so with the music it's not so loud that it's distracting but it's not so low that you can't hear it and then finally with the comms i keep that at about 15.6 as well with the desktop audio so i hope this helped you out um if you guys have any questions i know i kind of ran through it real fast um if you have any questions if it's confusing please hit me up in the comments um like i said i will link in the description um the 2020 microphone filters uh, and microphone settings that I have for myself uh, that make my microphone sound this way because that's a whole other beast, a whole other animal uh, that I don't want to make in this video because it would be like an hour long if I had to describe it all to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, uh, if you guys do get confused, please feel free in the comments to shoot, shoot me a comment um, and like the video if you enjoyed it. Like I said, we're almost to 500 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So if you guys uh, would consider subscribing, I would really, really appreciate that and become part of the Phantom Army. I would really appreciate it. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it, as I said, and comment if you have any questions. But without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys.